What's going on guys girls, it's Ghost Robot, welcome to FIFA 18 on the Nintendo Switch. It is a weird mashup, but boy is it wonderful. I played a little so far, and I think it looks, feels, plays great. Now I know, I know, it's not the exact same version that's on the other consoles. It doesn't have the journey mode, it's not running on Frostbite 2, but... It plays good, it runs at 60, and I think it is pretty darn awesome. So we're going to dive into a game. I'm no soccer expert, uh, but I know enough to make this fun. I'm not going to be playing the Joy-Con. Um, I'm going to go with the... Uh, we'll go away today. So I'm going to play um, as good old Real Madrid. Uh, and I think I will play against... Let's go against uh, Manchester United. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. If you want to see more uh, Switch stuff, I've got a full channel where that's all we do is uh, <laughs> Switch stuff. Um, but here I just wanted to cover this for us uh, and see what it was like. Those look pretty sweet. We'll throw these guys in the black jerseys and we are ready to rock and roll. You can customize controls. And we are on the way. Uh, they got these little like games here that you can play. Uh, while you're waiting for things to load, which is pretty fun, uh, but it loads really quick actually. Oh, so we're in. Today. I'm Martin Tyler. Alan Smith is with me. We're both really looking forward to describing it for you. Today's game: Manchester United, and they play Real Madrid. Alan, let us know your thoughts on Real Madrid here. Oh, it hasn't been the best of starts for them, has it, Martin? A team that we all expected to maybe finish as champions. The news is that. Still early on in this season, and they have got a chance starting today to, to make amends and show some of their better form. EFL Cup winners in 2017 and Europa League winners in 2017. Manchester United still expected to make more of a show in the Premier League, Alan. Well, yeah, we're still experienced in the fallout of, of Sir Alex Ferguson's departure, aren't we? Maybe it's lasting a bit longer than many predicted. It was Bobby Charlton, I think, who nicknamed this ground the Theatre of Dreams, and he certainly made a lot of his dreams and Manchester United fans' dreams come true as a player and, of course, has been associated with the club ever since. Yeah, and many, many entertaining, flair-filled teams have graced the surface here. And, of course, the stadium's changed beyond recognition over the years. Maja al Amour is the man who takes charge of this game. And we are ready to go. Uh, they got this cool little trainer here that shows you what buttons to press and whatnot, which I think is pretty cool. Um, I don't really need it, but I'll leave it on just so you guys can kind of see. You know, it's interesting to see Switch starting to get so much third-party support. We have LA Noir announced. Uh, we have... Ooh, nice shot, Ronaldo. Uh, right into the knee of someone else. Arrow to the knee. We also have Skyrim later this year. Uh, we have the wonderful Doom coming, we had NBA 2K18, uh, I think WWE 2K18 got delayed, but we do have now, uh, FIFA 18, which is like a good get, I think, for Switch and Nintendo. Good me gracious! Ah, the, the goalie with the big grab. Um, and it, it doesn't look, obviously, as graphically intense, like I said, as the other consoles, but I think it looks good. So let me know your take on this in the comments below, if you would play this FIFA just so that you could have it with you on the go you know you get it then constantly uh, you can play it wherever you are which is pretty sweet I think that's you know the biggest uh, benefit of the switch is that you can play it wherever whenever and like being able to take FIFA on the go it does have ultimate team it does have my career it doesn't have journey which stinks uh, but maybe next year and I just like the fact that you can bring you know you can bring this with you wherever and I feel like I don't know, like, I really like, obviously, NBA. That's my favorite sports game. 2K18, I love. But I will say that I feel like they, I feel like this one is better, performs better on Switch. Like, the player models up close look better on NBA. Okay, I'll give them that. But, like, from the, the full-on game perspective, I feel like this one plays better uh, than the basketball game. And, you know, maybe that's the ideal. Like, 2K tried to do something a little bit more like, hey, let's make something that is, uh, like, Try to bring the exact version over and maybe it's maybe it's smart that FIFA decided they were gonna do like a custom engine uh, And do something a little bit more unique and make it a little bit more dedicated to switch specifically now I don't think that Subtracting features is something that has to be specific to switch But maybe just in the way the game is designed, you know, uh, and we'll have to see how they do things going forward You know does EA bring Madden and FIFA next year? Do we get you know NBA live next year? How do they handle 2k18? 2k18 has the full suite of modes, but people have had some issues with how it works how it runs um, 
So just interesting discussions, and I think it'll really help shape, you know, how uh, how third-party development goes on the Switch going forward, which is important, you know? We want this platform to be like a big mecca for games, for hardcore, for casual, for Nintendo fans, for whoever. Um, oh, nice little slide there. And he's going to save it, and that's going to be a throw-in. But I think, you know, the more we get stuff, whether it's freaking sports, uh, whether it's shooters, the better. You, you you can't really complain about third parties supporting the Nintendo platform, right? Like, that's just, it doesn't happen all that often, and the Switch Extreme sales have made it a possibility. So, you gotta love Bethesda getting on board with Wolfie and Doom. You gotta love uh, Rockstar 2K getting on board with their sports games and with a new version of L.A. Noir. Like, that's one of my favorite games. As you guys know, one of the games that started this channel off. Oh, it's a very hard-fought defensive battle right now. Working hard here to try to get some some gains here, and I'm no, like I said, I'm no FIFA pro. I actually haven't played FIFA in a number of years. The game feels fantastic, though, um, and I'm gonna be playing the Switch version. I don't have the PS4 version, I don't have the Xbox version, and like personally, I'm cool with that. I like, I like what we have going on here. That's a terrible pass, Zachary, uh, and I think it's a very cool version, especially since I don't really. FIFA's not something I play like a, a ton. So, like, being able to bring it on the go with me and not, you know, I'm not going to, it's not like a main game I'm going to put up on my TV. Like, I'm currently playing um, NBA. Uh, I've got some games under embargo that I can't talk about. Cuphead, even though that is not a graphically intensive game, is taking up a lot of my time, and I love that thing. Let's drop it back to Ronaldo. Ooh, good shot. Get in there. All right, we're making progress. Um, let me know what you guys think, though. Like, is this is this an acceptable-looking version of FIFA? Do you think it's... Do you think it's good enough for you? Like, is, is this a good enough version that you would pick this up and play it as your main FIFA? Goalkeeper in incredible form. Oh, nice move. Deeks! Shoot! Freaking shoot! Goal. There we go. 1-0. Let's go. 32 minutes in, and we making business. We making business. Falling down like a snow angel. And I love it. It was a super goal. They're not happy because, again, we're the away team. There's no cheering. There's no crowd goes wild. Uh, they're just going to be sad. But that's A-OK. -okay. Um, all right. I love these blue jerseys. Here we go. Let's go. Bring it up the sideline. Ronaldo's got it. Oh, gosh. They're very good at stopping these shots. Now, there's a really cool thing. When I first played for the first time on Switch, it did this, like, and I know this is just, like, a typical sports thing, but I really, I felt like it worked very well in FIFA, so I wanted to give it props. Um, gauging my skill. Like, the first half, I dominated, and then the second half, they came in with the, the sort of the skill tuning, and it was a really hard-fought, fantastically fun second half. So, kudos to EA and the FIFA team for really dominating that this year. All right. All right, we got almost half time here. A little bit longer. I probably won't do like a career mode or anything for FIFA. If you guys do want to see more gameplay though, let me know. Um, I do have another game of Real Madrid versus uh, Barcelona on my Switch channel, Switch Force. So if you want to check that out, you guys know where to find me. And this is when like the Switch onslaught starts coming. We got Golf Story, we got FIFA, we got a bunch of indies. And then soon, you know, Mario Odyssey is less than a month away. So before you know it, it's going to be Fire Emblem Warriors, Mario Odyssey. A little Xenoblade 2. Oh, cross. God. No, no, no. Well and it's going to be a real good fall. You've got... I wish there was a few more third parties, like day and date. Um, you know, Doom is obviously coming. That's old. Uh, no Battlefront, unfortunately. How cool would Battlefront on Switch be? That would literally be amazing. Oh, I was trying to hit Ronaldo. Not, not the middle there. Come on. Take it away. Let's go. Oh, God. Same team, fools. Halftime. All right. A nice 1-0 stat at the half. Feel good about that. All right. Nice little goal there. All right. Uh, so, four shots to one shot, none on target. We're just going to go right back into it and uh, get the ball rolling quite literally, try to take the advantage. Um, 
you know, I talk about, uh, with NBA, I talk about a game of comparisons, right? If you play the PS4 version and then you play uh, the Switch version, yes, it doesn't look as good. But, ooh, offsides. Um, if you play, like, the, the PS4 version on the PS4 Pro of 2K18 and then the Switch, yeah, it's going to look like, whoa, major step down. Except, like, up close, it still looks pretty good. Now, I haven't played FIFA back-to-back -back on PS4 and Switch, but I feel like it is totally competent. If you have the PS4 version, Xbox version, tell me, like, does this look way worse? Do you, like, have a, a major problem with this, or is it, is it pretty solid? Because I feel like, from what I've seen of video, that it's pretty solid. Let's pass it up to Ronaldo here. Oh, let's go, baby. Let's go. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Whoop! No! 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 You freaking murdered the man! He's a tackle and a half. Tackle and a half. I'm a handful and a half. I know how it feels. Mata. Nice little deke there. Save it from going out. You have to be a good player to there we go. wait a pass like that. A little dink, really. A little dink. A little dink. They've gone and won it, Real Madrid. All right, we got to won it, Real Madrid. Let's get it out of here. Jeez, oh, Pete's. Tony Kroos. Let's go. Take our time. How frustrating is this for the other team trying to get the Ah, get in there! The goal, that's a goal. That's Ronaldo. Yes, sneaking behind and doing some magic. Wow, let's go, baby. Carry me to victory. We are the best. Two to zero. And it's gonna be hard for freaking man you to do anything on us anymore they've got a lot of time though so if they're gonna make something happen it is possible oh come on there we go thank you and all that didn't like that aim and power use the uh left stick to control where you decided the ball to land loopy or drive it loop it in there Ugh, that was bad again I am no FIFA pro but Ronaldo with a good stop there straight to the opposition, straight to the opposition. we're gonna take it away all right let's not get too too cute here we do have a great lead and we want to keep it that way nope ah so close dang try to bring it back should have come a bit earlier all right, these games just, like, you roll through them. I'm playing six-minute halves. That's kind of the default. I forget, because, like, in, in NBA, I'm used to playing, like, three- or four-minute quarters, and that seems to take forever. So I was like, oh, six minutes. That seems good. Good shot. That's another goal. Oh, that was a beauty. That was a beautiful goal. Oh, I feel good about that one. Let's go. Sliding and diving. Falling all around. Woo. That was beautiful. Look at that. Great pass and just a great one-timer. Beautiful. All right. They are basically out of here. Quite the margin indeed. Let's go. Get it over. Ah, it's a little too much. A little too much sauce on that shot. I really like it this year, though. Um, I'm curious to play it with um, Joy-Con and handheld. I'm going to... I'm going to probably record a video of that for Switch Force. I'm going to move check that out tomorrow. To that um, just I want to see, you know, how does it perform. Pro controller is a great controller, so. I had no worries it would work on the Pro. Which it does. That's another goal. Jeez, oh, Pete. This is a complete obliteration. It started out as like a, a freaking fair fight and a very uh, back and forth battle. And just like that. It's four to zip. We are crushing. And there's still a solid 25 to play. Goodness gracious. Yeah, that's why I liked having that difficulty tuner on because it really made the second half super, super cool. But uh, I guess, you know, the good news is you're getting to see a lot of uh, fun play and get a good idea of what the Switch version is like. Ah, uh, bad pass, bad pass. And plus, it's a very offensive game today, which is always... Entertaining, I think. I played soccer for a number of years. A lot of people are like, oh, you don't know anything about soccer. I played soccer from 7 to 14, which is pretty cool. Uh, I was always a big sports fan. Oh, let's go, Ronaldo. Oh, oh. oh, no, the header almost gave us half a freaking double digits. But instead, they're going to swallow the goal. As we approach the 72nd minute here. They've gone and won it, Real Madrid. 
I mean, they, they keep saying Real Madrid's got to want it, but we are up four, four zips, so maybe it's the other way around. That was a nice little, uh, nice little spin there. Oh. Charge the goalie. Ah, and they got me. All right. That's fine. 4-1. We can give up a point. I don't really care that much. Um, so all in all, I mean, I think from a FIFA standpoint, like I said, I haven't played in a few years, so I don't know, like, all the specific new features. But this one feels very good. It's, it controls really great. Specifically on the Switch, it feels great in the Pro Controller. Once you get adjusted, like, the buttons being a little different, like, press B to pass. Like, that doesn't seem right. Press Y to cross. That doesn't seem right. It's just because the button, you know, layout is different on the Switch. Uh, but once you get used to that, like, it controls very well on the Switch. I don't think it looks gorgeous, but I think it looks pretty good. Um, I'd say that, like, if you wanted a direct comparison, I'd say that, like, NBA looks better up close. And FIFA looks better far away. And it runs, though, impeccably. Like, I... I think it runs so well during gameplay, which is, you know, possibly the most critical part. The fact that it's running 60, the fact that it looks good, Got on the, ball in midfield. Well the fact that it plays really smooth and that we're having no issues day pitch. one. You know, there's no need for patches or anything of that sort. We're just playing and having fun and doing Benzema. what we do. Under threat here. And here's the shot. Another shot, another Benzema goal, baby. Goal. Benzema with the fifth goal of the day. And <laughs> freaking this pump dancing. We are freaking Real Madrid prancing and absolutely crushing it. Not even close. Yep, not even close, right? Good pass there. Yep, not going to cut it. Not going to cut it, but I feel like this version cuts it. So if you were questioning this, it comes out tomorrow. Um, it is a full price game, even though it is missing the journey. But you know what? As much as I, I think the journey is really, really cool, and as much as I like like sort of the, the my career mode and NBA and stuff, and I know a lot of people love the journey. It's like performing really well for some people on YouTube, so clearly there's like a desire to see it. I don't know that being able to take this quality of FIFA on the go with me whenever, wherever, it's pretty freaking alluring, and maybe even beats out having the journey. You know, maybe it does. Oh, that's gonna be another goal. Let's go. Six to zero, or six to one. Freaking absolutely owning here. And we need them to mercy the end of this match. Just get it over with. Might as well just stand back and watch. Maybe it's the blue jerseys. They're pretty sweet blue. And I'm gonna I'm gonna say that the fact that they look a little bit like my Detroit Lions new icy blue uniforms. Ugh, it's putting the other squad to sleep, baby. Alright. Let's just uh, burn some clock. And we will make history. You saw that little YouTube logo. That was pretty cool on the sideboards there. But we got a game in the books for FIFA 18 on Nintendo Switch. Pretty awesome to see this hit the Nintendo platform. Pretty sweet to have it be this high quality and pretty sweet to share it with you. Like I said, I got another game over on Switch Force. We're going to check that out. In the meantime, let me know what you think of it. If you play the PS4, Xbox One, how does it look in comparison? And uh, have a fantastic day, everybody. Thanks so much. I'll let the end of the game run first before we say goodbye. Yeah, there was, uh, there was a golfing class out there today, which was surprising given the two sets of players. I wasn't expecting it. <laughs> they don't got much to say. They're like, this was a pure obliteration. And that it was. Six goals, dude. I don't know soccer, but I know that that's crazy. So, we've got some high player ratings right there. 9.2, 9.1. Looking good. 10 shots on target. 12 total. A little bit of possession advantage. A little tackle advantage. Some pretty darn good shot accuracy. Not too shabby of pass accuracy. And that is going to put this one in the books. Just to show you guys here. Uh, if we back to the main screen. You do have career. You do have ultimate team. Uh, you got skill games. You have tournaments. There is online season. Uh, freaking... Quick play, all of the settings and stats, tracks, all that stuff. So it is a pretty fully featured FIFA. It's not it's not fully featured, but it feels pretty good for a first attempt. Now next year we just want the full game, and I will be a happy camper, and we'll all be hollering about this Nintendo Switch that is delivering across the board. Let me know how you feel about it in the comments down below. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I love you so much. Drink so much. Until next time, we'll see you all later.